What's up guys, it's 915 Mang here. Doing a video today, I'm spraying the Pukani Dry Rock. I got this stuff from MD, it was well packaged. This is 25 pounds of it. Um, prior to this, I had it sitting in a bucket with bleach. Um, I took it out uh, later on and I had my rock drying out here in the sun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it, spray it out. I'm also going to be using... Um, my sand this sand is from a previous tank I had a 120 before this and uh, before the 180 and I'm gonna use that I already rinsed it out I'm gonna rinse it out real good get any dirt any debris whatever and I'm gonna clean it out and use it for my new tank I ended up spraying this in the backyard on a uh, plastic picnic table the reason I didn't put it on the floor or the driveway is because of the car oils also from any detergent that might be left over from washing the cars. I'm going to spray this stuff real good so that way I can uh, go ahead and let it dry and then use it for my 150 gallon build. As you can see I have already started taking apart the 180. I had to do this in increments because I didn't realize how much crap I had underneath the 180 gallon stand. The 180 is uh, 6 foot long and what I'm doing is I have an MJ pumping out all the sump water and then from there I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a shop vac and start cleaning it up I did take out the 20 gallon tall this is a 20 gallon tall that I picked up at Petco for 20 bucks and I'm gonna use this to hold a lot of my Zoas um, start filling it up with the tank water from the 180 and go from there I don't know if the wife's gonna be happy about this since I am taking up some counter space in her kitchen um, prior to that I had a microwave here I said you know what we're gonna move the microwave and we're gonna put a fish tank back in its place this for sure was a long process I did take a lot of breaks took my time you know just cleaning up underneath the stand was one thing I had my whole garage a mess I already have a 150 gallon tank sitting in my garage plus all the other crap that I'm moving into there but you can see if you have a shop vac you need to get a shop vac. They sell them real cheap. You can put them on a, on a bucket and use it real good. Cleaning up underneath the stand, sucking up all that water, and making multiple trips. All in all, this sump is about 40 gallons. And uh, that shop vac cleaned it up real good. Shout out to my buddy Albert. He let me borrow his 100 gallon tub. Made things so easy. And also, shout out to the Coral Reef. They let me borrow their water hose. They let me borrow two brew containers and they let me borrow some suction cups. I already had a long hose anyways, but I just connected it to the water hose that they let me borrow. And then it's using a steady MJ1200. Kind of took my time. I didn't want nothing to be pumping into the tank so fast that it wouldn't give me time to work. And what I'm doing is I'm draining the tank. That way it'll be easier to catch the fish. You know, you start draining your tank, moving your rock over, and uh, moving it into the 100 gallon tub. And you can see I am making some progress little by little. I'm going to have this uh, 180 monster tank clear and moved into the tub. This for sure is organized chaos. Once again, I did get some suction cups, got them from the coral reef, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, open these babies up. Never used them before. I don't know how much I'm really gonna trust these things. Uh, as you can see, these are hardcore. And uh, I'm thinking mainly we're gonna use them to lift up the tank. And I'm gonna actually demonstrate this on glass and show you how it is. But you just push that button on the side and then it starts doing suction cup. It also has a release lever that will let out whatever air. Um, like I said, suction cups, use it to do a little bit of the lifting, just enough to get your hands underneath. And then from there, use your straight manpower. It's getting closer and closer to moving day. And actually, I'm just prepping out my tank now. My buddy Enrique, the proud owner of the 180 gallon beast, is going to be coming over here shortly to move this tank. As you can see and imagine, the tank being in the kitchen, I did have to clear out the kitchen. Had tubs of water, had this big 100 gallon uh, aquarium 
big 100 gallon pond actually there on standby holding up all my live rock um i have one rassineer have all my fish in this little bucket right here um with a power head rw15 spinning the water and the tank is ready to go i've already disassembled all the plumbing the plumbing was really easy to do i just uh unscrewed the uh hose clamps and uh pulled from there because everything was soft tubing um and as you can see the side is clear i have the uh 20 gallon tall on the on the counter with the qp16 and another return pump going on right there so uh, i'm ready i'm ready to get this tank out of here and ready to get the new tank in here and go from there this is uh I did this when most of the family was in home so that way uh, kind of everybody was out of the way and here it is I am gonna go ahead and prep my tank I got a yoga mat this is one I got from Walmart it's a nice mat it is 72 inches long 24 inches wide and I'm gonna use it and lay it out on my tank the foam that the SCA tank comes with is just uh, too thin um, pretty cheap stuff it is my sump is sitting on top of it because they cut it out for me but uh, I did cut this nice little piece out with the razor blade underneath and uh, everything fits pretty nicely I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit with this straight edge and go from there uh, it is soft and it looks pretty good okay this is this is the mother Ooh. okay and then if you guys both come to the other side we have bolts, okay? It's called a bolt kit. So if it's not, you can't just slide it off. You need to lift it up. Okay? Okay. So what do you think? I think you just take it straight to the truck? Uh, we're just talking the glass here, right? And yeah. yeah, but we can't put this on the truck. It'll mess up the... The... Oh, because the bolts? The bolts, yeah. We have that styrofoam. I can't put it on the outside. Oh, oh the two by four. Down. Well, I have one two by four, and then I have a two by four on the outside. You think I would? Yeah, you can have another two. I, I'll bring it back to you. I mean, no, I, not, uh, just so it doesn't. Because if you look on the bottom, you see what it's uh, like. A, we're, we're taking separately, one at a time. Okay. I mean, it's way. Can you lift both? Maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. That, <laughs> that, that, that stand is heavy as the tank. It really is. Oh, try to move this. Try to move it. No, 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 just, just stay quiet. Just try to move it. Like, like lift it a little bit one side like that. Just, okay? Okay. Huh? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do Because if you try to lift the stand up, you have to. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, do we, do us a favor. Uh, what are those pump things? Right here. Okay. They're gonna. How do you tell it takes the thing off? You wanna take it off? Yeah. Okay. And then you put it here, right? And then you just do the suction, right? Because when you lift it, we can slide this under? No, I'm probably gonna go. You know how to take it off? Oh, yeah. I think. And once we get a good grip, we can put it on the other side. Go back, go back to the plastic. Over here? Right here, just right here. Right here. And then. Pump it. Pump it. You and Aaron are gonna lift it. Aaron, go to the other side and, and lift it, so he can put in that two by four. Ooh. You're just gonna lift it a little bit, so we can put that two by four. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing. To the other side, I'm going to lift up a little bit more. Put it over here. Like that. Okay, wait. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side.
I'm down. Okay, we gotta get the cuffs. Yeah. Now that's what the cuffs are good for. They're just dangerous, bro. You just bring them. Yeah, I'm sort of scared of these things. Yeah, use them both first over there. Actually, I'm going to adjust this. Come here, Charlie. Grab this over here. You want to go on that end again? Make sure it's tight. Yeah, I think that would be good. 